here. So it's almost time for our kids to get out of school. Either they will often be bored or be looking for things to do, or they may have summer reading assigned by school. We want our kids to be reading or read aloud to them for at least 20 to 30 minutes every single day, but we also want to maintain a positive relationship with books. One way to make sure that we can keep the love for reading alive and the love for books is by having fun activity books around. They don't always have to be novels for kids to read. It can be simple instructions that come in activity books where they read what they need to do and then they have fun doing it. That way they're still involved with books, but they're loving it and they're having a lot of fun at the same time. One of my favorite books to use with my kids is our step-by-step -step drawing book. I really like this book because although I try to be artistic, I'm not very good at drawing. And this book has excellent instructions, He's mostly using simple geometric shapes, and you can create any picture you want to with these directions. Another one of my favorite series that we have is our 1001 Things to Spot. This particular book, On Vacation, is close to my heart because as soon as I got it in and as soon as I started putting baskets around my house, I found my kids, two of them, who always fight sitting on the couch together. My six-year-old was reading the names of the images that they needed to find to my daughter, and together they were finding them. They were practicing reading small words, and they were also counting because my daughter is learning one-to-one -one correspondence, so she's learning to point to different objects as she counts them, and she definitely got some practice in with her big brother in this book by finding all the different pictures. We have these books for a variety of themes, whatever your child's interested in, we probably have it. We have pirates, we have under the sea, we have dinosaurs, we have tons of different books where they can search for different things or spot them. My son loves mazes and the only types of mazes I had ever seen or given him are the plain old boring rectangular mazes or really simple mazes. They may not have been the rectangular kind. They may have had some pictures in them, but they were still simple. I recently got him our big maze book and I was absolutely thrilled with it. He had a blast going through the mazes in this book because of how much fun they were having different pictures to make up the mazes. They were not just solid lines. They were all different kinds of themes. And they also have different directions in them. So he may have a particular direction he has to go in to solve the maze, or he may have to go through um, certain areas of the maze before others. So he was reading, he was following directions, but he was having fun doing it. So it was excellent practice for him. Another book that we really like is our Drawing, Doodling, and Coloring book. We have a generic one, we have one for girls, and we have one for, girl, for boys. And in these books, it's not your average coloring book. They have instructions on some of the pages. It may say, draw faces on these animals. It may say, finish the bodies and then draw some more. Here you'll be decorating teacups. Here we're making flamingos not look like your average flamingo, but adding detail. So in that book, they're still reading a little bit. They're still following directions, but they can enjoy it because they're coloring. They're being artistic and having fun. Now, if you have a ritual, maybe, of weekly doing something fun with your kids, I recommend our Make and Do books. This would make a fun craft time. Most of them have stickers in them for when you decorate whatever it is that you made. But they have fun things that you can make, either by drawing or painting or cutting stuff out and gluing it. And a majority of the crafts in our Make and Do books involve things that you already have lying around the house. So you may use construction paper, you may use toilet paper rolls, glue, string. They're lots of fun. I definitely recommend picking up the vacation things to make and do to keep your kids busy and have a, a regular craft time with them all summer long.